From beautiful flowers to deadly snail venom, here are 12 of the most amazing cures found in nature. Number 12. The Madagascar Periwinkle Acute lymphocytic leukemia, ALL, is a type of cancer that attacks the blood and bone marrow. It is the most common type of cancer in children, and for a long time, it was considered a death sentence to anyone who got it. That is, until scientists discovered the Madagascar Periwinkle. This pretty pink plant has been used for many years by Madagascan healers for treating diabetes. It is a three-foot shrub native to Madagascar, but can now be found in tropical and subtropical environments all over the world, especially once its healing properties were discovered. This innocent-looking plant has helped cure over 80% of all the cases of life-threatening ALL in children. What makes this plant so miraculous is that it produces vincristine and vinblastine. Vincristine can also help fight against non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, rhabdomyosarcoma, neuroblastoma, and Wilms tumor. Vinblastine can also help treat tumors and other cancers. Just as interesting is that vincristine and vinblastine are actually incredibly hard to produce synthetically, so scientists and pharmaceutical companies have to be very careful to maintain the balance and care for these plants. Some progress has been made on the synthetic front, but it's not an easily reproducible drug at the moment. Since both vincristine and vinblastine are both used in chemotherapy, which is considered controlled poisoning, the periwinkle itself should only be used topically. If you eat too much, you could get quite sick. Some people use the Madagascar periwinkle to stop bleeding, help with bites and stings, and also to treat infections and swelling. It's a truly miraculous plant. Number 11. Underwater Morphine You might be scared of sharks, but even more dangerous is the tiny cone snail. If you get stung by a cone snail, you will probably die a quick death without even feeling any pain. They can be found in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world, on sand or on coral reefs, so it doesn't really narrow it down. But don't worry, the only people who usually get stung are divers who are attracted to their pretty shells and pick them up. The cone snail then launches its venomous harpoon, which has to be potent enough to kill a fish instantly. Otherwise, they would just swim away to die and the cone snail would have no food. A few microliters of cone snail toxin is powerful enough to kill 10 people. Scientists have been fascinated with the power of this tiny creature, and now they are working on isolating the pain-killing properties of its venom. Biochemists have discovered that some components are 1,000 times stronger than morphine. For those who don't know, morphine is one of the most used drugs in hospitals because it is the most effective pain medication that we have. However, it is addictive and easy to overdose on. The way the venom works is that it jams the communication between nerves, making pain fail to reach the brain where the receptors are found. So now, imagine a more natural drug that is stronger than morphine but without the addictive side effects. If it can be used effectively, it could change pain medication forever. Number 10. Anesthetic Bark Science has just recently started to explore the medicinal potential of plants and animals from the rainforest. The bad news is that we are losing rainforest species at an alarming rate, and we don't even know what we've lost. One of the most amazing cures in nature comes from tree bark. The poisonous bark of the various curare liana trees have been used by indigenous people for who knows how long to cure all kinds of illnesses. Now, to be clear, on its own, the bark of the curare liana is incredibly deadly and should not be taken. However, scientists have learned how to isolate the alkaloid D-tubocurarine, which is used to treat diseases like Parkinson's and certain muscular disorders. Furthermore, people have found that the bark has anesthetic qualities, which can make it useful for tonsillectomies, eye and abdominal surgeries, all kinds of things. It's a very interesting bark, and one that can do a lot of good when prepared correctly. There are all kinds of medicines that can be found in the rainforest that could really help modern society. And now for number nine. But first, have you used any cures from nature that actually worked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Origins Explained family. Number nine, lady ferns. Not all medicines are from hard to find plants and herbs. Some of them are as basic as ferns, specifically lady ferns, which are popular all over the United States. In fact, the use of lady ferns in medicine is known well to people who live in the northeastern region of the country. As for what it's for, it can be used to cure stinging nettle burns, which can be a biatch. However, it can also be used for healing small cuts and other burns. What's more, it's actually really easy to get the plant to heal you. 
All you have to do is grab a piece of the lady fern, roll it up into your hands until it's a mash, and then apply it to your burns or cuts. Simple, effective, and easy to find if you know what to look for. The perfect natural medicine, depending on where you live. It can also be used to prevent against worms, balance the digestive system, and fight against asthma, pneumonia, and bronchitis. Number eight, poppies. If you've watched The Wizard of Oz, you might think that poppies make people sleepy. Remember that scene with the witch? Poppies, poppies. Anyway, well, they don't per se, but the poppy flower extract can be used as a sedative as well as an anxiety reliever. Poppy seed oil is used as a vehicle for chemotherapy delivery. However, you also probably already know that one specific species of poppy is the source of the drug opium, which has been used since ancient times for its medicinal purposes, as well as recreationally. Poppy seeds can also be used for medicinal purposes, and people will sometimes put poppy extract into their tea to relieve anxiety. Morphine is the product of the straw portion of the poppy. It wasn't until a German scientist came along thousands of years later who was able to separate morphine from opium, which is less addictive, although like I mentioned before, it's still kind of a problem. Still, it's best not to use this on your own. There's a reason that the poppy is associated with sleep and death from ancient times, because people didn't use it properly. Just admire the flowers from afar or have a poppy seed muffin once in a while. Number seven, ginger. Ginger is used a lot in cooking because it adds a great flavor, but what some don't realize is that it's actually a very powerful natural medicine. It can be a cure and a deterrent for certain diseases. In fact, in countries like India, it's recommended to have ginger as part of your daily meals to help prevent you from getting sick. Both the flower and the root can help cure many maladies and help your body in many ways, including helping the digestive process, improve nutrient absorption within your body, it has anti-inflammatory properties which can help with muscle pain, it can prevent nausea and seasickness, can help your back, battle cancer, diabetics, and asthma, as well as clear up parts of your body. It may be simple and tasty, but ginger does indeed help your body and is something you could easily add to your diet. Number six, lavender. Lavender doesn't just smell good. It has all kinds of antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties and is known to be good for your skin. Native to Northern Africa and the Mediterranean, people have been using lavender for centuries. It can help relieve stings and bites, minor burns, and treat anxiety, insomnia, depression, and all kinds of digestive issues. As if that weren't enough, it can also relieve pain from headaches, toothaches, sprains, and prevent hair loss. I don't know about all that, but that's what people say. Although if I have a headache, I think I would rather go for Advil. Anyway, lavender is soothing and also makes your clothes smell good. It can keep your scalp cool to help prevent dandruff and is said to fight skin infections. You can buy lavender tea and essential oils, but make sure you use the lavender oil topically. It can make you sick if you ingest too much of it, unless it's in a tea. But if you want to feel calm, have good skin and healthy hair to boot, give it a try. I kind of really want to try a lavender tea now. Number five, catnip. Catnip, not just for cats. This plant originated in Europe, but then it was found to have a lot of great medical properties and has been grown all over the world ever since. The use of catnip leaves and flowers in tea was documented at least in the 1700s. Catnip, also known as catmint, can help you battle a lot of things. It's a great detoxifier. It'll help your body sweat out any bad chemicals that are in it. It's a natural medicine used for headaches and migraines. It also is good for toothaches to treat intestinal cramps, balance your digestive system, and is known to relax the nervous system. Overall, it's believed that the chemicals in catnip have a calming effect. But like everything, be sure to use it in moderation. Number four, thyme. You might know this plant for its aromas, but just about everything in the thyme plant can be beneficial to your health and well-being. In fact, thyme was used in ancient Egypt to help both cure maladies and prepare bodies for embalming. For the living, it's known for its antifungal, antiviral, antiseptic, and antiparasitic properties, which basically means it'll help protect you from just about anything, including helping with food bacteria that you accidentally get into your body. But that's still not all thyme can do. It can help with blood pressure issues, help prevent colon cancer, and can help you get rid of a cold or a cough really fast. Number three, tea tree. The tea tree is actually one of the most popular and expensive trees in Australia. It has a fresh but strong scent, and because of its properties, it has been used for shampoos, lotions, soaps, and more. It's great for anything going on with your skin, hair, and nails. 
It can be used to cure many outer body ailments like having nail infections, eye infections, mouth infections, etc. And it can be used as a deodorant, mouthwash, prevent head lice, and help with cuts and burns. It's a very famous homeopathic remedy for acne. Have any of you tried it? Did it work? Let us know in the comments below. You can also put some drops of tea tree oil in the bathtub to help you when you have a cold. Just don't drink it because it is poisonous. However, if taken properly, it can also help prevent illnesses in the future. Number two, sage. Believe it or not, sage is considered to be the most useful herb in the world, mainly because of its anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antifungal traits. But that's not all. World Healthiest Foods has said its reputation as a panacea is even represented in its scientific name, Salvia officinalis, derived from the Latin word salvere, which means to be saved. Sage was actually used to help make sure meat wouldn't spoil in the times before refrigeration. Now that's saying something. It also helps with digestion, cures cramps, can help you with stomach issues, help with cuts and burns, clear up your congestion, and kill bacteria. And if you're going gray, apparently it can help bring your color back. I mean, I don't know about all that, but hey. All in all, sage is indeed one of the best. Number one, ashwagandha. Also known as Withania somnifera, this plant has been used as a medicinal herb for over 2,500 years. I actually heard about this herb while I was traveling in Colombia and an elderly doctor told me that it was one of the best things you could take if you were seriously ill. But modern medicine was moving further and further away from these kinds of things. I was surprised to hear this from a doctor since they usually tend to stay away from natural cures. This shrub is in the nightshade family and has bell-shaped leaves and orange berries. It's known for helping with stress, headaches, diabetes, and cancer. It can boost brain function and help fight anxiety and depression. The name means horse smell, meaning that the root smells kind of like a horse. But it also is known as the strength of the stallion because it strengthens the immune system after an illness. It can lower cortisol levels and balance thyroid hormones and prevent degenerative diseases. Nature has a lot to offer, much more than we can probably even imagine. Thanks for watching! Which of these natural cures did you like best? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!